We're almost halfway done looking at all of the features of the pool, so let's finish it off. If you want to rename an audio file in the pool, just select the audio file and then click on it twice slowly. If you double click on it, you will go into the sample editor. Just click on it, wait a second, and then click it again. Rename it and press return. Easy, huh? If the pool gets too big and you want to do some house cleaning, you can create folders. Right click and choose Create Folder. This doesn't make a new folder on the hard drive, but allows you to organize the pool. Just drag any files you want into the new folder. A cool thing with this is that you can pick a folder to record the audio files directly into. Let's say we're going to record drums next. Right click on the drums folder and choose Set Pool Record Folder. See how the status column now says Record beside the drum folder? Also notice that the folder has a red dot on it. This is unbelievably handy. When you right click, you can import files with the Import Medium option. This is the same as the Import button on the toolbar. You can import directly off a CD, and these two features allow you to export and save the pool. You never know when you might need this feature. If you get a question mark beside a file under the status column, you can search for files by clicking here. If you can't find the file or know you deleted it, you can click Remove Missing Files. I'll skip Reconstruct for now as this is an advanced feature that's in the next video. Choosing Convert Files is great for converting a file into whatever you like. You can change the sample rate, sample width, the number of channels, and the file format. You can also have three more options in the drop down here. You can create new files, which basically creates a copy of the file and converts it. Your song will still point to the old, unconverted file. Replace Files is what you will commonly use because it changes the file and doesn't make a copy. The last one is New and Replace in Pool. This will create a copy of the file, convert it, and then replace the old files with the new ones. Your original unconverted files will be left in the pool. If you definitely don't want the old files anymore, use Replace Files. If you're unsure, just use New and Replace in Pool. Sometimes you don't even need to choose Convert Files. All you need is Conform Files. You may have dragged some audio files in and their file attributes are not the same as your project settings. Use Conform Files to change this. Another reason that you might use this is that you have decided to change your project from 16-bit to 32-bit. Let's do this now. Go to the Project menu and select Project Setup. Change the record format to 32-bit float. Click OK. Now our project is at 32-bit, but our audio files are all 16-bit as we can see here. Choose Conform Files. A dialog may pop up saying that if you have done any processing to the files, then all that editing will become frozen or locked into the file, essentially meaning that you can't undo it. Another dialog box may come up saying, do you want to keep the source files in the pool directory? Choosing Keep will create new files that conform to the project and will keep the original files. Choosing Replace basically overwrites the original audio files and replaces them with new conformed files. Extract Audio from Video File separates the audio from the video so you can use the audio track in your project or somewhere else. You can also generate a thumbnail cache which is explained in the chapter on video in the next level. Continue on to the next video to learn more about the pool.